Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Call to the Lamb. Um, I have been super excited for this game. It's the first time in a long time that I've been this excited um, for a roguelike. And as you can see, I uh, did get the uh, DLC that came with pre-ordering the game. Uh, so we do have some DLC items that I want to show you guys as well. Um, I did play the demo of this that showed like the very beginning of the game and as far as I could see there wasn't a lot that changed. So we are on day 5 with 7 followers. Um, so if you saw the demo video, uh, that'll kind of catch you up to where we're at. If not, I'll have a link for that in the description. Um, and I will try to explain where we are in terms of everything, but I kind of wanted to use this video as a short uh brief little look at cult of the lamb i'm gonna be streaming this over on twitch so i'll be uploading those episodes here on youtube um but i wanted to kind of do like a quick look at what's going on and you know what what to expect if you if you get this game so as you can see this is uh my cult right now we got seven people everybody's pretty happy um this is the crafting area so we have a couple things unlocked i'm only on day five again so you know um what i wanted to show you guys is okay so all these decorations here came with the pre-order dlc um we can actually build that so um i might put that Put it there um i'm very i'm very bad at deciding where we should put things we also have a pathway that we unlocked um so and my camera isn't uh covering anything by the way this is the temple where we can pretty much do like sermons uh which kind of boosts everybody's morale and their loyalty we can upgrade abilities with our crown which kind of gives us like special abilities and that sort of thing i think it'll show me yeah so we don't have anything right now um but there are commandment stones that allow us to declare doctrines for the cult kind of like in frostpunk um, so oddly it's been giving me Frostpunk vibes with that, even though I actually never played that, but now I kind of want to. Um, there are also rituals, which I actually need to get more wood to be able to do that, so, um, but that would be really good for us. Um, so this is like the main area. This is where like all my followers and, and that sort of thing are. They're all, they all have their own little tasks. This is where they, you know, deposit stuff while you're gone. And then this area... Oh, okay, well that's awkward. I can't actually get to that area without doing the thing. Um, so let me... Let me very quickly get some wood here. Uh, wouldn't this place look a little nicer? Okay, so I have to make it... So the, the followers will come up to you and ha uh, have little requests that you can fulfill uh, right now we're trying to do this ritual though um, okay so now we should be able to do the ritual I've actually never done the ritual so this should be interesting oh okay <laughs> this is just a normal Tuesday for us okay uh Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. Okay, so that lets us that that just brings up their faith. I don't actually have uh, intel on that. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings. And you'll increase their loyalty. Once they're loyal to you, they will give you everything. Okay. To level them up and they will reward you okay 
They will generate additional devotion. To increase, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests, perform sermons. Okay. The stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you. Uh, I will show you the true power of the red crown. Ooh. Lonely shack. Hello? Oh, is it gonna give us, like, uh... Is it gonna give us, like, the option to... Oh! Okay, so this is all new. I didn't know about this, but... Um, and yes, I did call it the Cult of Lindy. You got to name your cult. I was not original. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this. So over here is where... Uh, these are, like, the four different, like, dungeon areas, I guess you could call them. Ugh. Obviously, none of those I've gone into yet. Um, I can actually open that. Um, this is the main one I've been going into, and they all have different, like, requirements of, like, how many followers you need to have. It seems like they all have different, like, themes. Uh, like, this is woods, that's, like, water. I don't know, this one's, like, autumn vibes. <laughs> and this one is just, like, Spider City, which I hate that, so... Um, and then I have no idea what this door is about, but I assume if we defeat, like, the four big baddies, we get through that door and something awesome, awesome happens. Um, but yeah. Pretty much, this was just meant to be a quick little look at, at what's going on in this game. I will, uh, very quickly run into here and show you guys, uh, the dungeon area as well. Oops. I'll be waiting in my temple. Okay. Interesting. Um, so it does appear like in the temple area, once you go through it a lot, you eventually have the ability to fight the like main boss. I think the bosses we fought before were uh, like mini bosses, if that makes sense. So, every time you go into one of these, they'll give you a weapon and a power-up. I've never actually had this weapon before, so this is interesting. Um, and yeah, basically once you're in here, you know, you're doing your own thing. Think of it pretty much like, you know, how in Binding of Isaac or, you know, Enter the Gungeon or anything like that, you would be um, fighting enemies and just trying to survive. If you do die, um, which happened to me in the demo, you only lose um, a portion of what you collected and then you're taken back to... You're taken back to where you're... Um, I can't think. You're taken back to where your cult is at. So that's good at, le at least. So this is our inventory. If we died, obviously everything would be like cut in half. Um, here you can see like everything. We still have like a lot of locked abilities. Um, this gives us an idea of how our cult is doing. Apparently I really need to feed the followers. And um, these are the quests that we have. Those are all the ones that we completed. Um, so yeah, that's been a super quick look at Cult of the Lamb. I kind of just wanted to give everybody an idea of like what you're looking at. Um, if you are on the fence of playing this game, I would say it's definitely worth picking up. And um, like I said, I'm actually going to have full-on episodes showing our progress with the cult. Um, and that'll probably be happening this weekend. I'll be streaming it over on Twitch and then uploading the VODs on YouTube. Um, but for the meantime, this has been Cult of Lamb. Just a quick little look at it. Gives you an idea of what you're working with. There is so much customization. Uh, we didn't even, like, jump into that. There's customization with the followers, um, the names, everything like that. There's so much to do as far as, like, at the, um, the cult site. And then, you know, I feel like going through the dungeons kind of gives me, like, Moonlighter vibes. There's just so much in this game that I love. I have a lot more to say about it and I'm gonna save it for another video. Um, but for as of right now, 
that's been called the lamb i'm super excited to play more of this and to share it with you guys on the channel but let me know what you think and if you picked up this game let me know what you named your cult i'm very curious um as for right now that's gonna be it for me i hope to see you in the next video and until then peace